So um, I'm going to show you guys my kit that I made for my December daily this year. Um, I'm using, I don't know, about three or four different collections. Um, they all kind of go together. Um, none of the colors is really like super matchy matchy, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, but you guys saw, if you watched my last video, um, you saw that I used this paper pad, um, was what I used to do the cover of my December daily. Um, so this is 12 days of Christmas, um, and it was, it's a paper studio paper pad. I'll just flip through it real quickly in case you didn't see me do this the last time. Um, but it's just got some kind of a vintagey feel to it. Um, I love this pattern. I love the buffalo check um, and I just think it's a really pretty paper pad. So this is going to be kind of my main pad and kind of what I based my whole December daily album off of. Um, I also bought the scrapbooking kit that went with this paper pad. Um, so I have a couple little embellishments to go with it. Um, so these, these are little chipboard stickers and they are the 12 days of Christmas. So it's one through 12. Um, these are just stickers. So it's just a one page sticker sheet um, that have a couple of the pieces from the paper pad. And then these are some die cuts um, from that paper pad as well. Um, if you watched my last video, I pulled some of these out, but I'll pull all of them out so you guys can see what all of the die cuts look like in this collection. So there's these cute little frames. I used one on my December daily album cover already. A little ornament, deer, tree, a little tag, some candy canes, little ornaments. A little ice skater, bows, a wreath, a little Merry Christmas. And this is just part of a tag that I cut off, that I put on my December daily album. So those are the die cuts and everything that I have with that collection. The next stuff that I'm using is everything that I got from My Mind's Eye from their warehouse sale. Um, so the main collection that, or the most items that I got from that, um, were from the Cozy Christmas collection, which is super cute. And it's, again, got kind of like these vintage cars with the tree on top. Um, and I love these little, like, houses and stuff they've got throughout the collection. So um, this collection I absolutely love. And like I said, the colors don't totally match with the paper pad from Paper Studio, but I think I can kind of make it work. So here's the first paper and the other side. Again with the little cars with the trees. So cute. And then I love this paper. I might end up porting this paper, but we'll see. I'll try and force myself to use it. <laughs> Um, and then here's some brads that go with the collection. Let me bring those a little closer so you can see. And then this is a chipboard that goes with the collection too. So these are all just chipboard stickers that go with that. Uh, I have a lot more embellishments. Hold on. Um, these are just little tags. Um, I got two of those. And then these are tags as well. These ones say to and from. These ones don't say anything. Um, but I thought these would look cute in the album um, even though they're Christmas tags. Um, some rub-ons. Some chipboard buttons. Enamel dots. Some alphas. Some flare. And then I've got some uh, ephemera. So I'll go through this really quick so you can see the pieces that I have here. I really tried to use some of this on the cover of my album, but then I just it just didn't end up working out. I wanted bigger pieces, and these are all kind of smaller pieces, but they're still super freaking cute. So yeah, just a little bike. 
I don't know if you guys can tell, these are like glittery pieces in here. My little tags. And you actually get a ton of stuff in here too, so. I'm not super keen on this deer head. I think it's kind of wimpy looking, but I have a deer head punch, so I'll probably be using that throughout my album too. The bows are cute though. I love myself some bows. Tree. Little snowflakes are really cute. Love little car. These flowers are really cute too. And little banners. And how cute are those pine cones and ornaments. Okay, so that's the ephemera pack. And then I have two of these tag things. They're an advent tag, so 1 through 25. Um, but I'll probably end up using these a lot for like layering pieces um, or even the dates on my December daily. They're just super cute. I actually do a advent calendar for my husband every year. I do a, a beer advent calendar. So he gets one beer a day. And I always do like the specialty beers, you know, seasonal beers um, that you can get at the like total wine and more. But I already have advent tags for him that I've made up previous years. So I just reuse those every year. And then my son gets an advent calendar from his grandparents. Well, I guess both my sons will be getting it this year. So I have two of those gift tags that, um, oh, I guess these ones are different. These ones are actual gift tags. These aren't advent tags. So I guess I can show you these too. So these ones, I'll definitely be using for layering pieces. There, look at that, that's so cute, the little house. I'm like obsessed with these little houses. I'm gonna try not to hoard these, you guys, but no promises. Cause I'm in love with those houses. All right, so there's those tags. Sorry if I'm going through this really fast, but I wanna get through everything and not make this super really long. So tags there, and then these are journaling cards that go with the collection. Now, if you saw my previous video, I'm using a um, Target binder, which is a mini binder, so the pages are smaller. So a typical journaling card isn't gonna fit completely in there. So I've been kind of modifying the um, pages and then I'm gonna have to make smaller journaling cards so um, I might cut some of these to size or I just might use them for like layering pieces but kind of show you guys what these look like again with the houses which I might end up hoarding But I just love that there's kind of like a mix of like different colors of greens. Um, and there's like the darker greens and mint greens. It's just such a fun collection. So there's all of those journaling cards with that. Get those out of the way. Now, the other collections I'm using, I'm not using a whole bunch. So these are just kind of odds and ends. Um, that sort of kind of go with the collections I'm using. So we'll see how much of this I end up going with, but um, I'll show you guys anyways. So these are just wood pieces that I got from um, Michael's from like their dollar section. I just have little Christmas sayings on them. These are wood buttons that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, so just some of those. 
little enamel dots. This Sleigh Bells collection is probably the next collection I have the most of. So um, these enamel dots, some of the colors kind of go, the red definitely. Um, we'll see if I end up using a lot of that though. These are frames um, from that are also from the Sleigh Bells ring collection. And I just love these. They're chipboard frames, so they're a lot thicker than just the other frames that I had. But those are adorable. Um, these are just alpha and word sticker sheets, but there's a ton of them. So I'm probably not going to use any other sticker sheets. I might use some Tim Holtz Tiny Word stickers because I love those. But these are, they have different... Um, words on each of the pages, although the fonts are the same, but they come in different colors. So that's kind of perfect because I can kind of mess around with those. These are the brads from the Sleigh Bells Ring collection. Let's see those. Sticker sheet from the Sleigh Bells Ring, which again, I, you know, some of it might work like the black with the dark reds and stuff, but this color green doesn't really go with the collections, but definitely the red pieces would. Um, this is from Mistletoe Magic. Um, I like the, you know, the Santa, but like a lot of these like teals and stuff are definitely not going to go with what I've got. And then this is from that same collection. This is the chipboard piece, the chipboard pieces. So um, I really like the Santa. The trees are really cute, but again, I don't think the colors are really going to go either. So that might just be used for my snail mail or something. So. so that is everything that I've got for my December daily so far. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye. The halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Done with.